Hi Andy, We're, uh, I've got you out here to see your opinion yeah. on the recent phone-in scandal and just to see what you make of it all. It's appalling. Why? What's, what's appalling? I just really feel that as a paying licensee of television... What, BBC? Oh yeah, BBC. What, what services has the BBC provided with you with well, to feel this? Right this now cost? I'm appalled because there's no decent televised programmes on BBC and to just with the phoning scan as well, it's just it's just getting a bit too much for me at the moment. And I just feel it the moment. I I just want to sit down and be able to watch television and not have to think about whether my phone call is going to be used in a scam of any kind. What What do you think about the moral issues raised about it's it being used in ch children's television programmes? It's like a huge moral issue, especially Billy Peter, a respected television programme. Co Connie Huck should know better uh, than to... Yeah. Do, do you have a thing for Connie Huck or is it just a well, it's not generally a disappointment? I, I've grown up with Connie Huck. You know, she's, really? She's been a huge part of my life, watching Blue Peach as a kid. And, Connie's been there. Really. Did you have a badge? I didn't have a badge. I've always wanted a badge. I entered the competition once to a... Uh, it was the lighting one where you had to light up a building. But I never I never even got anything back and from now on in my... Uh, my interest in Blue Peter sort of panned out and disappeared. Well, my interest in Blue Peter... But now, now with the phone scandal, it's just completely gone out of the window. Well, my respect for Blue Peter's gone and... I mean, if they brought back Katie Hill and Sam like, Vincent... I mean, there was the drugs with Richard Bacon and... That was that was hard, but the phone scandal. It's difficult to, you know, just cope. I mean, to be honest, if if they're doing that with the phones, what do you think they're doing to that poor bloody tortoise? Well, I hope they're feeding it well. Is it supposed to be in a box or what? Or? Well, I'm not sure. I mean, as long as they let it run around the blue Peter garden. Yeah, they probably kick it about the blue Peter garden. Well, I mean, they didn't treat. What were the dogs all they? Didn't I don't know. Yeah. Mabel. They didn't treat Mabel like that, and if they treat. They've got to treat the tortoise with respect. Yeah. Um, that's Any other issues regarding phoning scandals? Well, or even scandals on television? John Leslie? John Leslie? What happened? Uh, Michael Barrymore? <laughs> oh, well, Michael Barrymore was quite a serious scandal, really. It was, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, let's not talk about Michael Barrymore. That's a waste of time. Yeah. Um, he's probably swimming anyway. Um, <laughs> Personally, I think uh, Blue Peter should try and be a little more, I don't know, a little bit more in keeping with the times, like, I don't know, like Panorama or Horizon or something. What, what kind of way? I don't know, just keep up on current, current events more and more than, like, well, instead of sticking back plastic. But essentially, Blue Peter's for the, for the children of the nation. I know, but, but the times are changing. Times are changing, but, I mean, unfortunately, children aren't getting clever. And, uh, I don't know, more are going off to university. This is true, but I mean, they're, they're not tend to watching Blue Peter. Why not? I feel, I why, feel, why is there anything... I feel if Panorama was introduced earlier in children's lives, then yeah. it would be easier for them to understand the subjects involved, but as it is... What, what sort of subjects? They start, they start, well, Trial and warfare. <laughs> well, I watched Panorama once when they tried to predict if there was a national, like, um, if it was gridlock in, or something like that at the end of the world or something like that. But I'm pretty sure it had something to do with gridlock. Um, as I said, if it's introduced early in children's lives, they'd understand the situation. Maybe they'd turn out for the better, maybe. Possibly. Yeah. I mean, if they got into dispatches of Horizon. Yeah, that's the way the times are changing, you know, it's sociology and how, I don't know, values and, and ideologies that once were don't exist anymore. Well, it's all, sort about, of determinism. It's all about popular and uh, popular high culture, culture and everything. And media. media. That's another yeah. waste of time. That's uh, using a bit of um, context there, I think. Pretty much, we came to we've um, sectioned off phone scandals, yeah. even though we went off on a bit of a tangent, but it was alright. Yeah, well, it was all right. it's but, uh, thanks for your time, Andy. We'll have to uh, do this again sometime. See you later. Thank you.